Hello everyone, welcome to Code with Anand. So in the previous video we talk about how to get the information from the uh, Salesforce object like account through the data adapter and dis use that data adapter to display the information on the Omni script. So in this video we are going to talk about how we can change the data through the Omni script and save the data to the Salesforce object like uh, account. So before moving the video for further I just want to say that if you like this video and uh, my channel please subscribe it and share with your friends so that uh, our channel can grow we can create a big community and it's inspired me to make uh, more and more videos thank you so without further delay let's move to our uh, org so okay so in the last video we had our omni script uh, display account info where we had one set value in the set value we use the context ID as a variable where we are storing our the account ID then we have one data adapter the data adapter which is used to get the data and then we have account information okay <coughs> so what we are going to do now so previously uh, I just want uh, I just shown you like how you can display the data the data which is getting from through this TR from the account object so in this video I am going to show you how you can uh, change the data like account name, account phone or account email and through the journey you can change the data and save the data into the Salesforce so that you can uh, like a, you can create the journey like a change account information and use this Omni script in that journey so that you can use uh, through journey any agent can change the account information. So what we can do like we have the data we are getting the data. So I am going to use this account as a uh, data like we are going to change the information of this account. So I am just copy the account URL uh, like account ID and I am going to paste this ID here so that I can use this as a variables to change this account information. So now as we have here uh, let me show you like if we click on preview. So if we click on preview here. So we can see that information which is getting extract from the Salesforce uh, through this DR, through this DR, and uh, if you uh, can see the uh, action debugger, you can see the request is going to be as a account ID, and uh, response we are getting these input, and the in the data JSON we are uh, getting these values. So I am going to copy the data JSON for now because data JSON is always important. How you can display the data. So like you see, you can see account, email, phone and name is a, uh, like a, it's come under the account information steps. So first we are going to do what? We are going to see that if any data adapter present which can be help us to update the data. So let me just type it update and search. Okay, so we have POC account update account details. So this DR. So let's see how this DR is working and uh, the json which we copy let me open some json formatter so that i can show you uh, yeah let me open this json so paste it here and click on validate so you can see uh, the information which we are getting is coming in a form of account date information under that email phone and name so what we can do uh, if we go to the data adapter post action we are updating on the account and if you see the fields we are having like a context id uh, which can be work as a account id then phone name and email but uh, we can't update this way because the input which we are getting json which i already told you json is much important you need to take care of that so input we are getting as a form of under account information so you need to make a node as account information for the data adapter post action to do that you can do one thing you just copy this account information node come to the data adapter post action and what we can do we can edit this and we can add one node in all the information which we are going to update so we can click on update click on account name here uh, you need to echo note then double column and then uh, add and then account phone also so double column column and 
yeah and now we are not going to give node information to the context id because you know that the context id is out of the node so it's coming here so we are not going to use a node so let's uh, use this data adapter in our omni script so i just copy the data adapter go to design let's uh, from the build let's extract data adapter post action let me minimize this one data adapter post action so as soon as you minim uh, you can get the properties of the data adapter you can use the data adapter here so we are going to use this one and uh, we don't need the label here so i am going to remove that and uh, i am going to give the name as data adapter the same name just paste it then i am just uh, going to use update account information now you notice one thing if we are using the data adapter extract we are having the information as a like input parameter something like that where we are passing the input and we are getting the value but in the data adapter trans or load you are not getting those input data why because we are pasting uh, saving the data to the account information in the format as we getting through the json like this format so which is already mapped here that's why we are not getting those input uh, text there so as we updated here what we can do uh, we can just click on preview again and uh, clear the cache uh, logs and we can see again so now we have the information here like account name captain uh, Burlington Textile Corp of America phone number and Gmail. So what we are going to do? We are going to change the Gmail. And previously, when you see that the next button was not there because there was no extra step, but we added one more extra step to update. So what we can do? We can add the Gmail code with on and add the rate gmail.com. Okay, Gmail updated. We are going to update the phone number as well 555-5555 okay and in America I am going to change as a India so all the information I modified and click next so as you can see uh, after clicking next we are getting the data after is getting update uh, executed but we are not seeing any information that what value is updated or not we need at least some input output here but before doing that let's check that the value is really updated or not so this was our data we can do we can refresh it and let's see the value is updated or not so you can see here previously it was america now it changed to india phone number was 222 and uh, something 200000 so it changed to 5555 and uh, for email email is not displaying here so what we can do i think email field is not added on the ui so we can go to the classic mode and uh, we'll add into the ui as well so previously email was abc at the rate gmail.com so now let's see the email should be code with anand so let's uh, now you can see the email part is code with anand at the rate gmail.com so email is also getting changed updated so what we can do now so uh, we have one more uh, things to do like after updating we are not getting any info like how user know that the value is updated or not so for that we are going to add one extra step where user can see the value and uh, we can add one link as well so that he can click on that link and move to the a particular account so that you can see that okay so let's do that so how we can do we can click on design again and uh, let's add one more step so we can do one thing we can add a step here and uh, on this step what we can do uh, just name as a confirmation C -O -N -C -O -N -F -I -R -M -A -T -I -O -N, confirmation confirmation so i am keeping a state name as a confirmation and uh, to 
display the information we need to add one input field, uh, like uh, output field here display field so di under display we can see if we click here so okay so we need to just uh, remove this one here you know let's see okay the line break and text block is coming here so we can use text block to display so if you see the text block you can see here text input so what we can do we can click on this one and uh, we can say that account details is updated account number yeah account details is updated account number and we can use here account id so what we can do to use that account id let's see if there is any account number is present or not okay so there is a account number field present so we can use this account number to display the information so what we can do we can go to data adapted extract and add one field here to account number and uh, we can use as a account number to display that so if we click here and go to preview and uh, copy this account id and paste it here so we are getting the account number here as well so we need we, what we can do to display anything in the omniscript you have to use the double percentile and between double percentile you can display any dynamic value so what we can do we can click here and uh, we can use it to this way uh, to display the account information so account number okay so we can use this way to display the account number so what it will do it will get the account number details from the json and it displayed here but what we have to make this value as a uh, clickable link as a clickable so you can see the link here so what we can do we can use this uh, uh, okay so we can copy this one click on this link and for the url what we can do so to display the url you have to copy these so we can copy the url and uh, we can paste it here under the url okay and uh, here what we have to use percentile sign and account id under percentile then slash then view text field to display account number so we can use as a account number in new window you want to display uh, we can say that oh no i want to display in the current window so we can click on this one current window or uh, we can use as a new window okay it's fine new window and save it so you can see it's working as a uh, you can see here account number is work as a uh, clickable link so i'm just going to click and save so we what we have to do we have to get the account id as well which i make that value as a non editable so what we can do we can click on here account id so i can make this one as a account id and uh, not disable enable so we can uh, okay so account id and we can make this one as a account id okay it's perfect so we can use that account id here as yeah like this account id now what we can do let's see that so if we click on preview now it's clear the log and uh, this time i'm going to update something different so is this code with anand so i'm going to change it code with u number this to 888 and again i'm going to change this to america a m e r i c a america so next time if i click you can see customer confirmation is uh, screen here so if i click next you can see after updating the value account details is updated account number is this so if we click on this one it will launch us to new window 
with this account ID so if we click on this one you can see it's launch us to the new account uh, new step okay so page is not found maybe something I forget so okay no issue and we can check that why it's showing that there are not found so we can do one thing uh, we can do one thing okay let's see if first the details is updated or not so first we can do just copy this one and uh, let's update here so we can see the name again changed to america code with you and the number is again changed to 888 so i think page is not found is showing because you can see here go to the design click on here click on this okay so now this click on this okay just copy this one first click on this so i think we have to just use as a lightning and uh, account id our account view so i use view as a capital so i have to use view as a small so just view okay it's fine now save it save and again click on preview let's see this time we are going to just uh, change minor changes something like number 829 uh, and i'm clicking next account details is updated clicking this one let's see how this value is getting updated or not okay so now you can see the value is uh, getting updated as well like change to 9 and we are able to see in the next page and uh, that means that is the clickable link so yeah that's all for this video please share with your friends if you like this and subscribe the channel thank you thank you everyone